What's up guys, Vern here, Pogi Boy Production. So, as you probably can't tell, I'm not in New Jersey. I'm in East something something, Pennsylvania. Like a land full of trees and mountains and, you know, at least the colors of the leaves are changing. It's autumn, it's beautiful out there. But we're going to a place called Shady Maple Smorgasbord. One of the biggest buffets here in the East Coast. I believe maybe it might be even bigger than the U.S. or bigger than the one in Vegas. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's touted as one of the biggest and it's very popular. Um, going for dinner. Looks like there's a line. Um, we'll do a little walk around of the food there and whatnot. The prices. Let you guys know how it is. So if you want to know how this place is, keep watching. Parking. Parking is kind of crazy too. But check out this line. Oh my goodness. Also get inside and get fat in the buffet. <laughs> oh, see how this long is still taking. Oh, that's crazy. But it's moving pretty fast. Local crews arriving daily almost at the front <laughs> crazy almost there almost there 20 minutes to get to the front pumpkin season is here oh pumpkin pie you know what I'm getting later. Okay, we finally made it inside. I like the old rustic feel with the chandeliers, but still a line to get in. <laughs> line outside, line inside. So you can actually take out the food. $8.99 per pound. Lunch and dinner. $6.99 for breakfast. Here's a price breakdown. And you can see the dinner has different pricing. They have prime rib night, seafood night. I wonder how it is on weekdays. Probably more. Is it as crowded? I don't know. But weekends is crazy long. Still on the line. But here you go. Alright, finally got inside. Another line, but I think this one moves a little quicker. You're gonna be table seating. One hour later. So, finally got my seat. And believe it or not, that took an hour plus to get seated. But it wasn't bad. The line moved pretty quickly. And now we're gonna go walk around and check out some of the food items that you could eat here. And uh, I like all the decorations. It's like rustic old feeling right and got paintings of like the Amish pretty cool so yeah let's go uh, check out the food so everything here is self-serve even the drinks so that's different I'm gonna get a drink 
We got some slushies. Whoa. It looks like it looks like a tiger. And a coffee. Bunch of vegetables. French fries. Bunch of toppings. Here are the salad eggs. More toppings. For your salad. Lots of toppings, more salad. A bunch of noodles, beans, sweet potato. Got some oysters, white rice, roast beef, famous. I gotta try that big ham. I'm just looking. Yeah, it's very crowded in here. Still so got the wings in there, chicken, fried shrimp. Right. Yep. And many of dessert on this side. This is a grilling station, so you can do steak, beef hot dogs, black Angus steak burgers. Woo! Yep. On the side, the same thing. All that steak. You gotta try that. What? You can do milkshakes here. Extra thick too. Ha! <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do later for your dessert? And you get toppings at the Sunday bar. For my first plate, I got the Cajun catfish, salmon, and uh brisket smoked brisket not much to the plate right now but it's gonna fill up fast for the first plate and i got orange juice all right let's try it this is let's try the salmon first love salmon the fish yeah it's good, fried to perfection, and um, if you like fish, salmon is one of my favorites. Let's try the brisket. I added some, uh, you can add more sauce to it if you want. This one has a lot of fat. Mm. Love it, that smoky taste. Okay. This is definitely um, something I would get more, more of later. Try the Cajun catfish. To me, it looked like um, fried banana or something. <laughs> but this is the Cajun catfish. Mm. 
This is a little salty, has a little kick to it because of the Cajun, I guess. But um, yeah, it's okay too. But I much prefer the salmon. This is the better option for me. But this is not bad. And uh, brisket is number one, I think, for meats. I haven't tried the rest, but if I were to live off this, these two will be my favorites. <laughs> a big potato and a steak suddenly appeared in my plate. Like magic. <laughs> I think this is medium steak. And you know, everyone loves the big potato. Let's give it a try. All right, let's try the medium steak. Uh, doesn't look, well, you know, it's not as red, but it's okay. This is medium steak. Mm -hmm. Good, seasoning is nice, and it's not too rubbery. Perfect. Although, you know, I don't know how you people like your steak. I like mine medium. Sometimes medium rare in a way occasion, but not bad. And this is the baked potato. Mm, not bad. Can't go wrong with potato, baked potato. But try not to eat too much of this because this is gonna fill you up. Carbs, carbs overload, but. I need to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> All right, go get more food. All right, here's my second plate. I went a little overboard. Got crab soup, uh, shrimp scampi, I think. Got lone sausage over there. I got the Angus burger, cheeseburger, a drumstick, and the world famous roast beef, I think it is. Yeah, world roast beef, I saw that. And this is for presentation only, but this plate is also full. <laughs> there's steak on it, there's yam, uh, baked potato. Yep. I'm gonna try the crab soup so I can make some room on this plate. Mm. It's creamy. This is hearty. And I assume it has real crab in it. <laughs> I it's called crab something something soup but uh, let me put that aside uh, let's try the world famous roast beef that's their claim oh, anyway mm. that's good the meat is nice and tender Perfect, uh, very flavorful. Yeah. It's pretty good. This is their um, Angus, Angus beef burger. Magically has more condiments inside. <laughs> Tomato, pickles, lettuce, and cheese. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a burger, you know. It's like when you fry a burger in the backyard. Looks like the the burger is well done. But yeah, that's not bad. You have to um, order this in the grill. And um, start one other thing. Let's try the shrimp scampi. That's okay. It's a little bland for my taste. But yeah, not bad. Chicken, I'm sure, is pretty good. Got the sausage, kalbasa. Eh, not bad. But yeah, that does it for the second plate. I'm gonna be full in the next few 
minutes. <laughs> Got a chocolate milkshake with some Skittles in there. Nothing special. <laughs> And we got an ube cheesecake for dessert to uh, cleanse our stomachs from all that eating. You know how I am with dessert. Mm. Super sweet and good. Let's try the ube. I think this is ube. That hit the spot. Definitely worth it. And there's a lot more different cakes that you can get there, so can't go wrong with them, especially if you have a sweet tooth. Oh, uh, this is your slip that they put on the table. Place it face down after you're done. And the best part is no tipping because it's already included in the meal. So if you wanna tip, it's, I mean it's optional, but no tipping right there. It says. <laughs> yep. I think for total for three people today was 85.53. So not bad. A lot of food. This is their gift shop. We'll just film a little bit, but got some cool uh, things they could buy here, I guess. Polish pottery, dolls, and Christmas things. Okay. After a round of eating, and you wanna spend more, come down to the gift shop. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That is Smorgasbord here in Erie, P Pennsylvania. Uh, we talked to the waitress, and you saw the line. It took us an hour to get in, but the waitress suggested that we come in. If you plan to go to Smorgasbord, Come on a weekday. She said the line is not too long. On Saturday, forget it. Gangbusters. Everybody wants to get in. And then once you get in, there's another line inside, another line inside. But anyway, the food was great. I got full after the first plate. I think it's that salmon. The salmon was big. And then I got the steak and I got the, the other fish. Oh man, it's so filling. But I loved all the food there. There's so many choices. Lots of desserts, lots of cakes. Even they had ice cream. They even had milkshakes. And they had ices. So, you know, it's pretty cool. And, and, uh, and if you come on a random day, they have seafood day, I think on a Monday. And it changes every day. So, yeah, come on a weekday. I think it's cheaper, cheaper as well. And uh, price is not bad. It was about under $30 for a Saturday night. And you get all that. And I believe this is one of the biggest buffets here in the East Coast. So if you're ever in the Pennsylvania area, it's the only thing is, you know, it's in the middle of nowhere. So that's why I'm staying for the night here at the hotel. But maybe I'll come back and, you know, bring some friends and we'll eat some good time. Maybe bring Henner. You know Henner will love it. He loves buffets. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the bell button. Ring the bell. Notified of all future videos. Like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.